Hi guys, I'm Blue and today we're watching The Last Samurai. Okay, um, so, I mean Tom Cruise, right? <laughs> I saw Top Gun and um, honestly, I didn't even know that this was his movie. Well, it's not his movie, but you know, it's, it's a Tom Cruise movie. I didn't even know, um, but I got inspired today because I saw someone watching uh, something Japanese, <laughs> a movie, and I was like, this is, a I was coming towards the studio and I was like, you know what, like, what am I going to watch today? Like, I have no idea, you know? So I see this and a little lamp flashes in my head, like in my head I'm rehearsing all of the popular movies that I could react to. But like, I see this man watching this movie and I'm like, okay, I've got an idea now. And I just looked and the thumbnail of the movie was like, I'm like, hmm, I've seen this guy somewhere. <laughs> and y'all know I've got face blindness. So, uh, I mean, Tom Cruise's face is really recognizable. So I did recognize him eventually. It took me like 10 seconds, but I was like, oh my God, that's him. And he's got a beard and I think long hair in this one, so you know, I think I'm, I think I'm good. Uh, <laughs> recognizing Tom Cruise in ten seconds, I'm getting better. You know, recognizing actors, I don't know much about directors though, so maybe I should. That's the next step of my movie reaction evolution when I start recognizing directors' styles and stuff. Uh, but yeah, okay, well, you know, let's. Let's jump straight in. Uh, but before we do, I would like to remind you that um, if you would like to see the full reaction and watch this movie with me, just you and me, the whole movie, you can do so on in Patreon from the link in the description. Um, also, if you enjoy my videos on YouTube, you might want to get early access to them. Uh, I upload my videos first on YouTube members, for YouTube members, and then like a few days, weeks, later I, I upload them on the normal YouTube so if you would like to get early access feel free to join my YouTube members and become part of this little club. Also uh, you can check out my OnlyFans from the link in the description, there's some very interesting stuff coming up for the summer and I know that it's about the end of summer but for me summer is just starting so if you would like to check it out feel free. Um, also you can check out my Instagram it's free and um, you can just, you know, see some behind the scenes materials, see some reels, some photos I post, some stories, etc. Um, and I forgot to mention that if you would like to DM me and, and ask me anything or, you know, just chat, uh, feel free to do that on OnlyFans. I reply to every DM there. So yeah, if you want to just get some one-on-one, -on -one, you know, <laughs> you know where, where to find me. All right. Let's go. Warriors willing to give their lives for what seems to have become a forgotten word. Honor. Oh. Oh. They got me with the first few sentences, honestly. I guess I love the concept of like samurai and like old Japan because it's just so mystical to me and it's so like foreign. And I guess we're all attracted and mystical and foreign things. Yeah, in Asia, tigers are like a big threat. Is he gonna be drunk as a skunk? He's not even showing up. Oh no, he's not having a good time. This is your last performance. You're fired. Now get out there. What do you mean performance? He's an American hero and it's a performance. Surrounded by a swarm of Oh, he's got a script and everything. Son, have you ever seen what this could do to a man? This a blow hole in your daddy six inches wide. Oh this my god. Beauty. This beauty. <laughs> These kids are gonna remember this. <laughs> They're gonna be looking back years ahead. The smooth action. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> he's crazy. Okay, no matter how pissed you are, you don't open fire in a room full of children. 
than civilians. Okay, Tom Cruise, we don't do that. God bless you all. Oof, that was quite a show. Oh, he startled me as well <laughs> with that gun. And another 500 when we get the job done. He is a negotiator. <laughs> he is smart. Oh, but actually they were maybe thinking that he will ask for more. Captain Algren's study of the tribes was a crucial factor in our defeat of the Cheyenne. <laughs> I'm sorry, his laugh is contagious! <laughs> the core back together again is just so... <laughs> I can't help it, I literally... <laughs> I see someone cracking up like that, I'm laughing as well, I just can't help it. He'll do it. I just need a minute. Yeah, something tells me that he's not really the type of person to be much for a hierarchy. <gasps> and this experience is gonna be so eye-widening for him. I bet, I bet. He doesn't have much principles now. For 500 bucks a month, I'll kill whoever you want. Wow. But keep one thing in mind. I'd happily kill you for free. Ooh. I smell beef. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> we hope to accomplish the same national harmony. Is you he gonna be a kid? In your home I sense he's gonna be a kid. I can't tell if he's a kid or not. <laughs> he might as well be 40, but. <laughs> It's not like they're gonna kill you if you do that. Hey, you little nerds! I thought someone was yelling at them! <laughs> they are an army of conscripts. Most of them are peasants who have never even seen a gun. Hmm. Oh, this is so sad. They're literally leading war with their own people. He is samurai. Ah, oh, but he's a traitor. You betrayed your old country's ways. Early day tomorrow, Captain Darren. It's about bedtime, isn't I've... it? I've always had a dread fascination with scalping. I've never quite understood its technique. What is his deal? Oh, they're all asking the same question. <laughs> I can see it in their eyes. And let your imagination grasp, if you can, Mr. Graham, the effect of a strong, quick jerk. Oh, oh God. On the turf of your hair. To release any cleaning particles would have on your nervous system. He is one for melodrama. And he has guilt now. Oh, the children, no. No. The baby. Tell this man if he does not shoot me, I will wow. kill him. Bro, he is crazy. He is crazy. Ooh. He is insane! How'd you even load these guns? What did he just do? What if he does? What if he literally pops your head out? like 30 centimeters off but you know it would have hit someone behind him i guess <laughs> that and that ladies and gentlemen is how you prove a point <laughs> sergeant Kent, did you hear my order i did indeed sir good then you will obey it now no disrespect intended sir but shove it up your ass <gasps> why no one respects him <laughs> I don't think they're gonna come from the front. They're not that stupid, right? And there's a mist. Of course there is a mist. They can't see anything. Ooh, they are coming from the front. Come on, that's so cool! Look at them! Yeah, I'm with these guys. I'm with the horses, guys. What'd he say? 
What did he say? They are not ready. Ooh. He knows the old school ways as well. Damn, he is right in there, isn't he? Is he gonna scalp him? No. Make sure he's dead. Smart. See, they're smart. They've got... Capacity. So, how are they superior again? Let's see. They know the terrain. They're, they excel at war and at battles and stuff. Oh, he sees something in him. A white tiger. There's some symbolism there. Okay. I mean, he's impressed me, you know? Was he like a... He looked higher in the hierarchy, you know? He was wearing the whole red suit thingy. Oh my god. I hate... I hate decapitations. Wild. <laughs> that, that is wild. I, I mean, I'm sure they have a good reason to do it. I would never. <laughs> Personally, it's my personal preference, you know. Look at that. It, they're bowing. Res that's ultimate respect, you know. Oh, he didn't even flinch. <laughs> oh, well, that was embarrassing. <laughs> we are deep in the mountains and the winter is coming. You cannot escape. Winter is coming. Jolly good. What did he say? <laughs> Jolly good. <gasps> What is going on? <laughs> she closed the door so politely on him, like... <laughs> he should kill himself. <laughs> wow. I, I don't, I just don't understand it. I guess it is a humble act, because you understand that you've brought shame upon yourself, so you should kill yourself. <laughs> I think he's more having withdrawals, alcohol withdrawals, rather than being in physical pain. <laughs> he's gonna drink and he's gonna be fixed. <laughs> That's gonna be like his rehab now. Oh my god. Okay, the whole bottle. Straight up. Oh man. I mean, it's good he's being haunted, you know? At least you know he's, like, suffering from his doings, you know? But you should feel it, you know? If you do something like that, you should feel it. I feel like people who do horrible things should be haunted. Even if they're good people, even if they've changed, they should somehow amend, you know? And this is his amendment. He is truly suffering. That is so good. That's so impressive. This is such a hard flex when people do that on the back of horses, just shoot in bows. And he looked like, you know, well doing that, like smooth, you know, satisfying. Seriously? <sighs> but look, she didn't even say anything. She just started cleaning it. I could never. I would I would be so mad if someone did this to my house. I will practice my English with you. Oh. If you would honor me. Oh, he's so sweet. General Hasegawa asked me to help him end his life. Oh, that's... Samurai cannot stand the shame of defeat. 
I was honored to cut off his head. Wow, imagine. I'm honored to meet you. Oh. I have enjoyed this conversation in English. <laughs> oh my god, he is adorable. And the woman who cares for me. My sister, Hirotaro's wife. Her name is Taka. I killed her husband. It was a good death. I will never understand what I am I'm shocked. They are so friendly with him. He killed their father. <laughs> I love kids. <laughs> No hands. What if it was a real sword? Could they gonna fight with the sticks as well? No, they wouldn't. It's not that kind of movie, is it? Is it? Oh my god, it is! Oh, okay. <laughs> not much of a fighting, really, but... He got his ass kicked. So what does it mean a samurai cannot bear the shame of losing, of defeat? I mean, like every time you get defeated, you must kill yourself. I mean, I guess there's only once, right? If you get defeated once, you must kill yourself. I don't know, man. I don't know. I understand the whole... And that's why he likes him. That's why Katsumoto liked him. Uh, Nathan is because he wouldn't accept the defeat. He wouldn't like, you know, see, he's getting up. He keeps on going. That's why he respects him, you know? That is your job, correct? <laughs> Protecting me. You're fine. Well done, Bob. You don't mind if I call you Bob, do you? <laughs> I I would love it if at the end it turns out he speaks fluent English. <laughs> As a captain, this is a low rank. <laughs> I am I'm glad he asked because <laughs> I don't know either how the ranks. Until that time, you are here. You're dead. I know what he's doing. I know what he's doing. He is gonna try to show him their ways and get him to join their side. From the moment they wake, they devote themselves to the perfection of whatever they pursue. Wow. That is so respectable. He's gonna he's gonna learn their ways. He's gonna get attached. Of course, you wouldn't! It's such a peaceful and like, it just seems like such a, you know, zen existence. Mind the sword. Mind the people what? Mind the enemy. Too many mind. I will I'll write this on my wall. Too many mind. <laughs> You know, I like his ways. I I don't understand the whole seppuku thing, but I like the, you know, it was karma, you know, this is destiny. I kind of believe the same things as well. I don't know a person that would be so understanding, you know, that's... I... it just blows my mind. But there is indeed something spiritual in this place. 
That's the word. Spiritual. This is what they fight for, you know? He gets it now. She's smiling too. Oh! <laughs> You need to get the hair out of your face, you know? It's good that they can't shoot. Like, who is who gave this man a bow and arrow, you know? No! Was that him? Was that the boy? They are good though. No, not the old man, no Bob. Yes! That kid is holding him well. He held him off for like a few seconds there. That's impressive. And now they're fighting together, back to back. I'll be very disappointed in him if he betrays them, but I think he won't. He has enough things on his conscience. He's not gonna betray them. He's staying loyal to them. Has granted a safe passage to Tokyo. This is so pretty. We leave tomorrow. Aww. He doesn't want to say bye. It's so crazy how, like, so much can be said just with one look, just with one nod, with one bow, you know? These gestures are just so powerful and packed with meaning. Mr. Amora, my contract with you was to train your army. Then we will make a new contract. He will not sign it. So he needs to convince... <laughs> Oh, no? What? So that was just, just a threat, that's it. You will come and fight with us now. I thought it was like an unspoken agreement, like go to Katsumoto, tell him not to get any more samurai or whatever, tell him to chill out. I don't know. That's him, okay. Is it? Is it the boy? No? Why was he just out there on the street? Come on, Emperor, say something! He won't even meet his eyes. He's ashamed. He's such a good man. He doesn't have his weapon. He's feeling, feeling everything. Oh my god, that was amazing! Just from like, calm, bam! Damn, son! Oh, no, okay, wait, what? Is that like now, after the fact, his thoughts are catching up because he wasn't even thinking before that? Come on, hurry up! Oh 
Good tone of voice, you know? He, he had a moment of doubt there, but... States. Sorry. <laughs> I think I made a mistake. <laughs> uh... Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> I mean... He looks so good. Look at him. Oh my god. I think I'm in love. <gasps> no. He's gonna do something. He's amazing. I have failed them. No, you've made them very, very proud. Together, we will make the Emperor hear you. That's why he escaped as well, because he has his people, you know? I should have. <laughs> They're so sweet. can understand that he's a good man and and that he's an honorable man and but but she still has pain in her eyes I belong to the warrior in whom the old ways have joined the new perhaps you can use these for your book oh I don't like this yes I don't like where this is going Captain. Godspeed. He is a good man after all, Mr. Graham. Look at that determination in their eyes. Those looks can pierce right through you. Please. Okay, okay. They should be falling back. Regrouping? Oh, yeah. Just like they wanted. Good strategy. They should put that. They should put some armor on those shield things. Would want hold the guns. They're gonna ambush them! They should be laying low behind those shields. And he knows them. He knows them from the inside. They've got inside knowledge. Intel. I hope you've got more of those laying around. It's raining. And it ain't water. What happened to the warriors of Palmopoli? Dead to the last man. <sighs> 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 
That smile. No! Oh no! Bob! There's more, there's more coming, oh no. How do they even see this? They keep, keep pulling aces out their sleeves. Good! I really felt like they were winning for a second. Oh no, they just realized what's happening, I guess. It's not over. It's better to die for something that's worth it, you know? This is madness. He's going to attack? Yes. He's defeated! He must accept his shame! Not defeated. No, until there's one man standing. My horse! Is he gonna try and persuade them? Because that won't work. No. No. They're just running through them. Oh no. no. So peaceful even in death. <laughs> the last samurai. <laughs> Such a strong scene. Kill him. Kill this man. Everyone else had respect for the samurai and for the old ways, even though they were doing their duties. This guy has no regard for anything. Not the emperor, the other guy. Emperor, this man fought against you. Screw you! Shut the f up! We cannot forget. You couldn't have made this decision before the battle? I have concluded that your treaty is not in the best interest of my people. No shit! They just killed your people! All of them! I mean, your people killed your people because of them. Tell me how he died. Why wouldn't you even look him in the eyes before this, all of this happened? Why didn't you listen? <laughs> No. I like to think he may have at last found some small measure of peace that we all seek. He went back to them. I'm so happy for him.
That was so beautiful. There's so many lessons that I could take out of this, and I think we all could. It's it's just one of these movies that like leaves you thinking, and I feel like I should just sit with myself in silence for a bit after. Like it's it's really I love this is why I love what I do because like I get to experience all of these things, and then they really have like an impact on me. You know, this is one of those like meaningful movies for me that just you know there's so much to reflect on there there is like uh, this whole like concept of honor and and just you know what is it for you you know what what's honor for you what make like just principles really it comes down to principles and just being a man of your word i guess um, and, yeah, being, being honorable, and, yeah, it kind of, like, I, I never was much for principles, I'm always sort of the type of person to, you know, just swing it and wherever, wherever it lands, but I think because these things, like, touch me and inspire me so much that it must mean something, <laughs> um, so yeah, I don't know. I guess we all choose the person we want to be. That's the takeaway message. We all choose the person that we want to be. So, you know, if you're out there wanting to be a better person, you can do it. It's it, the choice is in your hands. Um, is one thing that I think is quite nice. I could the to take away from this whole experience. Um. So yeah, I hope that you can also reflect some stuff for yourself from this movie and from many others as well, because, I mean, what are movies for other than, you know, entertainment? It's to make you think, to make you reflect, to make you realize some stuff for your life, for how you want to live your life, the kind of person you want to be. And I think that's that's actually the real meaning, the real purpose of of movies is to show all these like moral stories and wisdom, you know. Um, and that's really beautiful. So yeah, thank you for joining me and for watching this with me, and. Um, for thinking, I guess, because I think that if if you've seen this movie, no, no way it hasn't made you think, right? So I think that, I mean, it's good enough that you're watching this, I guess. There's some movies like that. I just, I honestly, like, I just think people should see this movie. People should think about this, you know, and I guess people do, um, but some more deeply than others, I guess. Not everyone would click with the meaning behind the movie and I, I honestly I always focus on like the meaning behind the movie not just the movie itself and like the either plot holes or just the quality of the production or whatever and I feel like a lot of like movie criticisms they focus too much on that it's like ooh but like you know there's this plot hole and, and the production wasn't and like the special effects and like yeah, but like, what about the meaning though, you know? I feel like that's something that should have its own separate criteria of... Because I, when I looked this movie up, it was it was like 66% of Rotten Tomatoes. And I think that, for me, I would rate it 100, you know? Um, but there's a ton of other stuff that goes into movie production that isn't, like, besides the story, besides the things that you take away from it. And I think that... These are the most important bits, you know? So, yeah. I'm not gonna trust ratings anymore. <laughs> Alright. I, I am very grateful that you joined me today on this experience. And, um, yeah, I'll, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Have a nice one.